In the days leading up to the 1998 draft, Peyton Manning's arrival in Indianapolis was anything but a foregone conclusion. Please welcome Ryan Leaf. There was some question that maybe Ryan Leaf had a much stronger arm than Peyton, but we had them both throw as statues with their feet together, and the difference was barely a yard. With a Colts torn between two quarterbacks, team owner Jim Ursay sat down with Manning for a meeting that would alter the course of the franchise. It was before the draft, and we decide we're going to meet in Miami Beach. And the lunch was about to end. And let me tell you something, he stopped like John Wayne and turned to me like Marlon Brando. And he said, I'll win for you. I mean, those green eyes looked at me and I was like, this is the guy. The Indianapolis Colts select quarterback, University of Tennessee, Peyton Manning. It was the greatest day of my professional life. I wish every owner could experience it. And the horseshoe truly does bring good luck because to have that opportunity to turn in that card that day, um, you know, I felt like it was a trillion dollar lottery. It, it, it was that special. Manning was a perfect fit in Indianapolis, putting up spectacular numbers and repeatedly leading the Colts to the brink of the Super Bowl. And the Colts have this one nailed down. Finally, in his ninth season, Manning and Indy would reach the game's biggest stage. Welcome to Super Bowl 41. I felt the confidence and that no matter what the circumstances would come up, that we were going to prevail. Throws one downfield, Reggie's there, got it to 20, touchdown, Reggie Wayne! It was like when Ali went to fight Foreman and Zaire. I mean, no one gave him a chance except himself. Hopes of Indianapolis win Super Bowl 41. It was obviously one of the most memorable things, the confetti falling and the rain and the parade and, and everything that comes with it. It was so special. After two Super Bowl titles, five MVP awards, and numerous league records, the incomparable Peyton Manning finds himself on the verge of football immortality. It's something special to see the level of his competitiveness. It's almost indescribable. He is someone that will outwork you, and he's been given Hall of Fame talent. He was such a team player and such a hard worker, and he represented all the things that anyone that plays the game would hope to represent. The thing about Peyton is he left the game better than when he came into it. I mean, you do not see another Peyton Manning. I mean, there will be other great athletes and great quarterbacks, but they will not be Peyton Manning.